Okay, let's do a class equation for fun. Is it possible to have an irrational number raised to another irrational power? And all in all, we end up with a rational answer. So be sure to pause this video and give this a try first. Okay, now, as I told you guys earlier, this is a classic question, right? So I'll show you guys with a classic approach first. This is just my first approach. And in one of my previous video, I've shown you guys that square root of 2 is an irrational number, right? So I'll just put this down right here. We know that square root of 2 is irrational. IRR stands for irrational, right? And now, here is the deal. Suppose this is the only irrational numbers that we can work with because we proved it in the previous video, right? So, let's go ahead and consider the following number. I want an irrational number raised to another irrational number, right? This is the only one that we have at the moment. So let's consider square root of 2 raised to the square root of 2. How is this? I know it looks really crazy, right? But check this out. And I don't know if this is rational or not. All right? I don't know if this is rational or irrational because I haven't done the proof of this yet. And once again, this is the only one that we have at the moment because we proved this in the previous video. Anyway, consider this, and you know when you have a real number, a real number is either rational or irrational, right? So case one, if this number, square root of 2 raised to the square root power, if this is rational already, then what? Then we are actually done, right? Why? Because we have an example already, square root of 2, which is irrational, raised to another irrational because they are the same number. At the end, we said if this is rational, and that's what we're looking for, and we're done, of course, right? So that's the case one. All right, now, case two. And this is kind of like proof by cases as well. But anyway, next one. Suppose this right here is irrational. Suppose if square root of 2, and I'll put this down in red now, square root of 2 raised to the square root power, suppose this is irrational. And once again, I don't know anything about this yet, right? Because I haven't done any proof of this yet. So I don't know which case we're talking about. But once again, if we were in the first case, we are done. Now we're focusing on the second case. Suppose that we know this is irrational, okay? Then, Let's look at the following. Then, now you see, we have another irrational numbers to work with. And originally, we have this one. And we want to have irrational raised to an irrational power, right? So let's do the following. Let me put this down for the base. So I will put this down as, let's look at square root of 2 to the square root of power, like this. And then raised to another irrational power, which let me put it down as square root of 2. Right? Let's take a look of this number. And now you see, we have a base raised to a power, and what do we do with these two powers? We multiply, right? So now this is equal to, let me just put this down as how it is based on the color. This right here is square root of 2 in red. We multiply these two powers, let me write it down. We have square root of 2 in red times this square root of 2 in white. I almost wanted to say black for some reason. But anyway, and now you see, this is just square root of 2. And what's square root of 2 times square root of 2? We know that's just going to be a regular 2, right? So I'll just put this down in yellow to make it slightly more special. If you guys can see, this is actually yellow. This times that is 2. And now, what is square root of 2 to the second power? Well, all in all, they cancel out pretty much, right? So we have 2. And as you can see, 2 is definitely rational. So, once again, if this was irrational, this would be the idea. An irrational, uh, irrational number raised to another irrational power. At the end, we got a rational answer. So once again, we are done. So this is it, right? This is the first situation, right? This is the first way I want to show you guys. And once again, in fact, I did not know if this was rational or irrational. But in either case, I was able to show you guys 
the original statement was possible. That's the most important thing from this board right here. Okay? So, to make us feel better, I will tell you this is in fact irrational. You, I know somebody is going to uh, prove that in the comment whatsoever, so go ahead and do that. So that way I can save some time just for fun, right? However, I'll show you guys another way uh, to do this, so that way it's, it's more fun. All right, now, here is the deal. I still want an example. This time I'll actually give you guys an actual example so that we have an irrational power and we have an irrational number raised to the irrational power. At the end, we get a rational number, right? And suppose I know a lot more about irrational numbers now. I have more than the square root of 2 that I can use. Here is how I would like to come with a more legitimate um, example for you guys. This is the second one, all right? So first of all, I know square root of anything inside. If that's not perfect square, uh, that's irrational, all right? And here we are dealing with powers, okay? So I still want to use square root 2. How about, how, how's that? Let's say I still want to use square root of 2, the fact that square root of 2 is irrational, right? And I can either put this down for the base or for the power up to me, right? And suppose if I want to put that down for the base, then I will change this to red first. Then I will, am looking at this as square root of 2 raised to some irrational power, right? And somehow I want to end up with a nice answer, right? Rational answer. Hmm. And this is going to be power. And another way to look at square root, it's the same as saying one half power, right? So let me not put on this here because I don't know what I need to use. Let me write it down as 2 raised to the one half power, right? And 2 something here. Let me just draw like a box. And once again, draw a box. I don't know what it is yet. And you know when you have a power to a power, you're going to multiply this two, right? So all in all, you have two, and then you have one half times whatever this box is. And now I just have to figure out an irrational number to put in the box. At the end, hopefully everything works out nicely and I end up with a rational answer. Hmm. So as you can see, I have a one half. If I can somehow have a 2 right here, then 2 and 1 half will cancel out to be just uh, 1, right? And now, the base is 2. Base is 2, the exponent. What are the things we can put on right here so that the base, this 2, and the exponent will actually cancel out? Well, you know, this is exponential. If you want to have the base of the exponential cancel out with something else, you have to do the inverse. The inverse of the exponential is what? Logarithm, right? So, why don't I put down, let's say, log base 2 of something? And since I used a lot of 2 already, let me put down 3. How is that? Yeah? So you see, if this is what we have, you see right here, first of all, when you multiply this and that, 1 half and 2 will cancel, and you will just have 2 raised to the log base 2 of 3. Right? And now the base of the exponential, this 2 and log 2 will cancel. At the end, you can end up with 3, isn't it? And 3, of course, is just as rational as anything else. Right? So we are done. And you see, this is pretty much the second irrational number I have to tell you guys. So I'll just have to put this down right here somewhere. Um, Perhaps if you would like, you can bring this to the front a little bit. 2 log base 2 of 3. You can put the 2 back here to make it slightly fancier. So this is the same thing. Log base 2 of 3 to the second power. And you know 3 to the second power is 9, so I can put it here. This is log 2 of 9. So I use square root of 2 for the base. And another thing I want to use is log 2 of 9. This is also irrational. Right? And how do we prove this? Well, I know somebody is going to prove it in the comments, so I'll leave that to you guys. But once again, you can do this by contradiction, just like the school of two. 
Anyway, hopefully you guys like this. So it is definitely possible, right? That's it.